bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned up, I feel like I want a Grammy. I speak in Guapanese, I know he can't out on Hey yo, it's your boy Atomic coming to you with another Fortnite Nintendo Switch video and today we're going to be covering the competitive gameplay tournaments which have finally been announced for the next couple of weeks including FNCS which is going to be happening at the very end of the season. The official Fortnite competitive page has tweeted out this link so I will be linking it in the description down below if you want to go through yourself and have a full read over the entire thing but I'm pretty much going to be covering the upcoming Fortnite tournaments which is what keeps me and I know a lot of other people excited about playing Fortnite. So to start with we already have seen season 4 hype cup that happened on September 6th but moving forward there are going to be dream hacks coming up um, from September 12th to the 13th. We're going to have hype nights on the 13th. Paradox Platform Solo Cash Cups is going to be every Monday from September 14th to September 21st. I'm going to cover something right after I go through this full list because from what I'm seeing, <laughs> it's it's looking kind of weird. But we have the Casters Contender Trio Cash Cup every Tuesday from the 15th to the 22nd. The Choppers Champion Trios Cash Cup every Tuesday from the 15th to the 22nd as well. Then there's going to be Wild Wednesdays every Wednesday from the 16th to the 23rd. Which here at the very end it says that Wild Wednesdays are going to be the prized LTM tournaments changing up every single week so those of you guys that are really good at LTMs you might want to start playing them if you can if not it might already be too late but there are going to be LTM tournaments with money involved I guess that's pretty cool for like the more casual it will be it still will be very sweaty obviously this is going to come try to pick up that little W then we're going to have hype nights every Sunday from the, the 20th to the 27th and then we've got DreamHack for NA East 17th and 18th and we have DreamHack for Europe September 19th to September 20th then FNCS warm-up begins on the 25th through the 27th, ending with FNCS in October, starting on the 9th, and the finals ending on November 1st. FNCS for the season will be trio, so you want to make sure you go ahead, start practicing some trio screams, get your trios together, and get ready to work hard. Now, the one thing that I will say that I have noticed is this is probably the shortest season for competitive that I have ever seen like correct me if I'm wrong here but based on what I'm seeing on the screen we're only gonna get two platform cash cups from now all the way till November 1st what is today I guess it is only one month but we only get two cash cups it's just it's just kind of weird like looking at the whole thing we get two cash cups we get maybe two trio cash cups maybe two wild wednesdays because it's weird because it says like from september 16th to the 23rd that's a seven day window so if it begins and ends on the same day i don't know actually that might even be a yeah, that's an eight day window so we might get two we get two trios two solos two wild wednesdays two hype nights one dream hack <laughs> i don't know i could be tripping maybe they'll maybe they'll announce more stuff but they're not saying anything else here on the full article and then once fncs begins on the 9th through the first there is nothing else there as well by the way, your boy doesn't know his months, bro. I said one month, September, October, November. Come on, bro. Come on. So, I, I mean, it's, from what it looks like, there's not going to be anything for the entire month of October besides FNCS. But things like that are likely to change. There are a lot of times where you'll see in-game, there are only like a couple of cash cups coming up. And then once those cash cups are almost over, Fortnite will add those in-game events. Or they'll add some more solo cash cups onto the week once they update the game. Now, of course, the question that everybody's going to be asking is, are our platform cash cups going to be against nintendo switch only and mobile only that is my guess we're definitely not getting switch only cash cups we'll be able to see once they update the game itself because i have not seen that in the actual game yet i'm assuming it's going to be just mobile and switch just like usual but the difference being we're probably going to have a way less prize pool considering that all the ios players cannot participate in these cash cups so at least as from from a competitive standpoint it's more fun because you're not going up against all these guys that are 120 fps and even the guys that are like 60 that are on the iphones they are way better than anybody that plays on Android. So the cash cups themselves will be easier, but the prize pool will be smaller. The queue times will be longer. So I don't know how enjoyable it's going to be. It's only time will tell. Uh, but at least we don't have to deal with 120 FPS and you guys can compete a little bit better as well. Decent schedule coming up here. Trio FNCS. I mean, overall competitive is looking good. And this season itself feels very good as well. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, we'll see, man. I'm going to have to start grinding. Trying to get unwashed, trying to get sharp once again so we can start competing and see how we can do in these upcoming cash cups. But there you have it, guys. Just wanted to update you on where competitive Fortnite stands. Once again, the link for that is in the description down below if you want to go through and read it for yourself. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy the rest of your day.